Singing has always been important to me, but I never thought I'll, I'll end up singing, I'll be a singer. I just thought I'm lucky that it's something I can always do if I want to. I'm so lucky like that. I felt like I had nothing new that was coming out at the time that really represented me or the way I felt. So I, you know, I just started writing. I wouldn't write anything unless it was directly personal to me, just because I wouldn't be able to tell the story right. I'm not a girl trying to be a star or trying to be anything other than a musician. How big do you think you're going to be? I don't. I don't think I'm going to be at all famous. I don't think I could handle it. I would probably go mad, you know what I mean? I would go mad. Is it hard to know who you can trust? Talent and fame, trust and exploitation are the overwhelming themes of director Asif Kapadia's documentary. You may recall Winehouse, whose brilliant second album, Back to Black, was a five-time Grammy winner, died of alcohol poisoning in 2011. She was 27. How big do you think you're going to be? I don't at all, because, you know, my music is not on that scale. The music is not on that scale. Sometimes I wish it was, but I don't think I'm going to be at all famous. I don't think I could handle it. I'd probably go mad, you know what I mean? I would go mad. As the movie was headed to its world premiere at the Cannes Film Festival in May, a Winehouse family spokesperson let it be known that the family was none too pleased. No surprise there, Dad Mitch doesn't come across very good, to say the least. Boyfriend, then husband, then ex-husband, Blake Fielder Civil figures mightily in the rising pop star's downward spiral. And so, it seems, does manager Ray Cosbert. Thankfully, the film has enough moments of found footage interviews with Amy in which she addresses depression and creativity, love and disappointment, to make it clear that she was a spectacularly thoughtful artist and not simply a victim. Besides giving us the opportunity to spend time in the much-missed singer's presence, the movie's chief strength is in making us ponder the confluence of people and events that lead a person of great and unique talent to tragedy. You may want to take a shower after spending time with the trusted men who failed the singer. And the movie has its own troubling moments that feel a little too obsessed with the plummet. That said, I'll leave you with a happier image of North London's Amy Winehouse with her BFFs. These are the only three people left. This is Mr. Alex Dale, Mrs. Juliet Ashby, Mrs. Amy Willis. Oh, In other words, Mrs. Amy Winehouse. And everyone else is gone. This was my full Do you want a lick of the lollipop? Come on, have a lick. No, I have don't. Have a lick. No, 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 no,